hot day at the beach? How about pulling your spine out of your beak to stay cool? That's some extreme bird yoga. Are these pelicans pushing their spines out of their mouths? Is this how they cool down? What is really going on? Hold tight, we'll get to the bottom of this. About eight species of pelicans live along warm coastal ocean shores on every continent, except Antarctica. Yeah, no warm coasts there. Pelicans flock around lakes and rivers too. They can grow over 1.5 meters tall and weigh up to 13.6 kilograms. Things can get muggy for these large birds as they hunt for fish all day. But this is not a pelican's bizarre way of cooling itself. This is just a pelican yawning. Pelicans yawn to stretch out the beak. And the part that looks like its spine poking out of its throat is the soft tissue beak folded over its neck and chest. A pelican will also stretch its head, which can look like it's pushing its skull out through its pouch. But what do they do to stay cool? That big flap of loose tissue on the pelican's lower beak is called the Gueuler pouch. When things get too hot and uncomfortable, the pelican opens its beak wide and wags its Gueuler pouch with each breath. It's like a dog panting, but funnier. There are a few other tricks the pelican has up its massive beak. The most obvious use of that beak is for catching and scooping up fish and water. The American white pelican's beak can hold over 13 liters of water. That's at least three times more than your stomach can hold. A pelican can expand and contract this pouch and use it as a fishing net. And like most birds' beaks, the pelican's beak is a bony structure covered with a layer of skin that produces keratin. But its lower jaw bones can flex outwards to help spread the Gueuler pouch open. This pouch also works like an airbag to protect some pelicans from water impact when they dive bomb to catch their feed. And no, the pouch is not used to store food for later. After they've caught a fish, pelicans tip their heads back to swallow the food right away. When it's mating season, adult pelican beaks develop a strange looking horn or bump on the top called a bill plate, as if that beak needs to be more impressive. And sometimes that enormous beak will swallow another pelican. Nah, I'm just kidding. This is how a baby pelican retrieves food straight from its parents' throat. Every American white pelican baby depends on its parents to feed it about 68 kilograms of fish before it's old enough to catch some of its own. Underneath that massive beak's horny sheath is another oddity. The pelican has a pair of nasal openings here that it doesn't use for breathing. Seabirds ingest a lot of salt water. These hidden nostrils house special glands that help remove salt from the pelican's blood. And how do they breathe? Through their beaks, of course. Pelicans can live as long as 25 years, and they spend their lives working and living cooperatively with other pelicans. You might see them hunting together in U or V-shaped formations. Their wings span three meters, and pelicans may flap them on the water surface to herd fish into shallow waters. There, it's a lot easier for the birds to gulp down the trapped fish. Brown and Peruvian pelicans have a different fishing technique. Using their keen eyesight, they spot their fish from heights up to 20 meters. Then they aim their beaks, head down at a steep angle, and dive bomb into the water. Air sacs under their skin work with the Gueuler pouch to help ease the water's impact. They also help bring the pelican back to the surface once they've caught the fish. But pelicans aren't the only bird with something strange under their beaks. Do you know that geese have teeth? Okay, now I'm definitely gonna have nightmares about birds tonight. Check out our episode about how horrifying geese teeth are. Having bucket-sized beak sacs and feeding their babies through their throats is what pelicans do. And that's why they're crazy creatures. <laughs>